You gotta show me. Yeah, I, I'd pop off too if my character was in finals right now. I'd be like, oh, I play that. Anyhow, we show are gonna that. be jumping into game one of WebJP and Apollo. Apollo starting off really, really aggressively, holding down center stage with the gunman, with the can on deck, which Ooh. forces Web not to retreat back. Sick oh combo. my god. And I was like, your combo turned into my combo situation. Mm -hmm. It's typical in Smash Bros. On a stage like FD especially, I feel like Duck Hunt is just able to control the ground and basically say, hey, you need to be shielding at this point in time, you need to be off the ground by the, by the time my gunman is shooting. Because otherwise, um, you know, you, you're going to be getting shot. Yeah, solid angles that uh, Apollo is throwing his can out at Web. Good on Web to recognize him when the box is. This is very crafty stuff that Apollo is throwing on here with Duck Hunt. Mm -hmm. Use the gunman out. to shoot it to forward tell. Etc. Yeah. Timing of the B button pressures. Yeah. Web, really... web, web is getting zoned off from oh. such a distance. Gonna get scooped by that up air. Oh my Solid. god, Apollo. Oh. Very good first step from Apollo. Let's yeah. see how Web can bring this back though, because this is only the beginning of the set. And yeah, Apollo is like, very strong. Playing, being a Lucas player themselves, like. That just really, really helps with knowing how to respond at a disadvantage against Lucas, how to like respond uh, when you recover them. Um, and so, like that kind of insight just really, really gives I think Apollo the upper hand. Very true. Apollo doing a good job of zoning out of Lucas right here, making it very hard for Lucas to approach here. Showing now that you don't have to get a dance on by Lucas to fight this matchup. You just say keep your space. Bait out some uh, heat, uh, slide magnets. Start mm -hmm. playing your own game, so Lucas won't be able to play their game on you. Ooh. Yeah. The only thing Lucas right is really able to absorb in this matchup are just the the, sh the shots of of the clay pigeon. Oddly enough, definitely like it's, it doesn't heal nearly as much, and it kind of makes it a little bit more difficult. Ultimately. Yeah, and the in, the interesting thing about uh, Duck Hunt's tools is like Duck Hunt can't control when uh, certain moves come out besides the down B. Mm -hmm. So it, that's very tough to absorb. You know when to get around. Like unless like you know like when the player is gonna do it, you're not gonna know, and you're just gonna get blown up a lot <laughs> trying to yeah, figure out that mindset. Came out so quickly in the trade, saved Apollo. That was that was menacing. Oh my God, that's gonna be the, the combo. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna go gonna for the double pigeon, yeah. Maybe a triple. That one good hit from Apollo. Oh, reflected right back at him. Oh, no, I think I think the can detonated on the shield, yeah. Yeah. yeah if you block it, it reflects like right back at him. Mm -hmm. Look look at Web. He's forced to stay in the corner, forced to stay in shield. Look how panic he was. Oh my that was god! That so good. Because he covered. So good. If, he, if, if Web died out, Apollo could have gone through like a forward air reverse air rush back air. If Web died in, that would have been the camp. That was. Oh, this is like my face loaded. Okay. Oh my goodness. That was some good drift there by Web just to avoid that forward smash that of that Apollo was going for. Can and play. Clay pigeon. Ooh. Oh, but falling right out now. of it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, Web feels trapped. He feels cornered. He doesn't know how to get out of the situation. But the aggressive goal in, finally able to give him a little bit of space. Apollo still able to recover really smart to not recover onto the ledge. Otherwise, he'd get, he'd risk getting. To yeah, if only Web was a little closer, he would have got the second stock. Basically, yeah, he was good. like a pixel away from getting hit by PK5, knowing that it's okay if I commit to Ken now, because I won't die to it. Nice combo there from Apollo. Keeping the pressure going, knowing when to convert. This cannon is definitely helping all out in Smash over here. Yeah, it gives him a way of going in, it gives him a way of breaking space, and it just like forces Web to sit in his shield, but at 135%, this is a huge deficit for him to come back from right now. It's gonna be tough for Web, but Web is a combo master, and things can change the drop of a downer near the ledge. <laughs> this Web tried to reflect the cam back at Zane. 
um, though he's not able to find it. Right now, Zane, like, this is definitely what Duck Hunt is most notoriously not so good at. Definitely, like, finding those kills. But that's a Clay Pigeon into the back hit. Really, really nice. Yeah, good stuff to Apollo for Game right there. Showing off uh, their knowledge, their ability to, the, to convert off of uh, whatever they can with Duck Hunt. That can set up off that down throw was sick. Zane is so cool. Mhm. Mm Zane, Zane, I'm, I'm, I mean, I mean, listen, Web, you're really cool, but, but, but Zane, oh, and do I have a little bit of bias? Of course I do. But, uh, but this is hype. I love Zane. Zane yeah, we're gonna have a really good match right here, just to get in the finals too, to potentially even a better mm -hmm. match in the finals too. Mm -hmm. so right here is where, is where the Kayla will show up, you know. Just solid matches all throughout. These guys have put in the work just to get the top eight right here. We're going to game number two. Probably not going to change the stage because I don't think they built the arena, but um, we'll see how uh, it goes. So, honestly, like, Web JP will always be banning, like, maybe, like, tr uh, Battlefield against Duck Hunt. Doesn't want to go because, like, honestly, it becomes so much more difficult for you to get in on Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt's just able to keep you out and stay in his own side of the stage for a really long time. Look how quickly Zane was able to take control of the stage. Like, uh, yeah, from that last game, I noticed that uh, Apollo, once the Apollo got the lead in, they maintained a really solid uh, stage control. Clay Pigeon up tilt up air. Because Zane, knowing that they couldn't get another Clay Pigeon into themselves, into itself, um, just, just went through the run up up tilt. These conversions are so good. Zane I is just able to rack up all of this damage. I know something different that just happened there. From when uh, Web got those downers going off. I noticed I think Paul part SDI out. Mm -hmm. A way to get spiked from the second one. So that's pretty important to know. The move really did look SDI-able. It is, it, is, it is a multi-hit move. I think I've seen that before yet. Oh, he had that. Chase that him all the way down that, and kill him. That was, that was, he was like, yeah, you Delicious. know, you're gonna, you're gonna try to air dodge out. You're panicking, you're in defense. Right, in defense mode, when you panic, you lose. So. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Very good stuff on web to catch that. But it's good on Apollo to still maintain their uh, their game plan and not lose faith in their character here. Mm -hmm. As they're getting comboed. But I feel like web, once like web hits a stride, like he really begins to hit a stride. He's a really momentum based player. So like once he starts picking up some steam, like he becomes almost unstoppable. Goes through the down field, tries to set up the can a little bit earlier. Down tilt, I believe that was, is not going to take it quite yet. We'll get away with the air dodge in, that was pretty good. I found that right gap to uh, Apollo's uh, stage presence. But there's a good can setup right there, just to wait something out of web to take that next step of stuff. But that PK Thunder, taking him all the way down. Oh, the... Yeah. And the freeze. He had nowhere Zane, to go. Zane didn't want to dip any lower in fear of potentially getting either down smash or F smashed. Well, down smash or uh, F tilted by web. Um, so they decided to risk it and ended up getting hit with the PK freeze. Really unfortunate. Um, you know, web is just picking up the steam. Like, web's starting to run away with this a little bit. Yeah, web's work, uh, doing a good job of recognizing gaps in Duck Hunt's game plan right here. Mm -hmm. And just finding ways to hit him and put the pressure on him. Because defensively, Duck Hunt uh, is very limited, I feel. Mm -hmm. And in taking advantage of that, uh, Webb is able to get their combos going and potentially kill on Duck Hunt as fast as possible. Compared to how Duck Hunt would like, like to slow roast you. Oh my god, that can is so scary. Forcing yeah, Webb just to immediately run off stage. You saw Webb immediately look back. Oh, you slightly missed him right there. What? Well, that's still his. Right there. Oh, the snake. The snake. Oh, taking that stock with the can. Yeah, the hunt is going to Apollo. This is the corner. I was going to take that, though. So, yeah. Right right there. Webb showing uh, Lucas wins. basic Smash Bros. knowledge of using that uh, invincibility from the platform just to come in there and just hit buttons be aggressive when you're off that platform. Pretty good stuff. 
My stream is stuttering on my end a little bit. I'm actually getting so. Are you watching Devin's or are you watching the house one? Devin's and Sevens. Okay. Um, it's for your computer. I need, to, I need to. No, no, my, my internet isn't so good today. I'm, I'm actually like cutting out every now and then. Hmm. Oh, I feel it. I understand. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna finish the set and try to fix my internet. But, but if not, I might have to tap out for tonight because it's really not good. Ugh. That's fun. That's fun. Alright, so. I'm gonna call for a stage switch here because one of them has left the arena. Ready? <laughs> Let's see where we're going to. We are gonna be going to. Three, two, Pokemon Sand 2, one, all right. Alright, so this is game number three. Uh. Paul having more space to set up their game plan. We have probably like knows the gaps around now against the characters, so they could probably just break through. So Paul may have to change up uh, how they uh, approach this uh, character. Yeah, um, Devin, I'm sorry. I don't think I can finish this set. I'm, out. I'm having some. Oh. I'll just try to come back in a bit, but I, I, I actually have to tap off it right now. I'm really, really sorry about this. No, you're good. You're good. Come back when you can. Alright, so going three. I'll yes, hop in for a bit. Hey, help her. Help me. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, sure. game plan over here is still in play for Apollo as Apollo tries to hit him with the cans and the, and the gunner. With the discus. This is match. This set's really been like the Charmin Bite and um, and you can see like both of the players are trying to like kind of keep up on their game plan uh, as close as they can because we know that if they ever had an advantage and have trouble for a kill, it's going to be really rough for them. Yeah, one is trying to find like the the proper gaps to uh, get these proper pushes like this right here. Web we'll taking the first stock. Web we'll with a great lead we'll on the, uh, the get up, the jump off the, the ledge, getting an early stock. Very nice. Now we're gonna have um, Paulo tennis. Kill and sourcing and kill unless he plays really aggressive. That's really not what his character sells at. True, true. The setup is all about duck hunt right here. As duck hunt prevails, once like one thing hits, another thing will start to hit, and potentially a kill could happen. Like, mm. like getting hits with discus, for example, is like the main tool duck hunt would use to start getting his kills. Seeing as uh, how Web is doing a great job of finding those gaps and hitting uh, duck hunt, like. Using the PK fire and stuff just to block it out. He's just making like the can being the only option to try to get hits in. And the cat's also uh, the can's also very manageable too if you're able to hit it. I'm not Careful. certain if the can itself has a hit bar besides the explosion uh, because that's a big thing with Lucas is that when you're fighting characters that uh, where they have an explosion hit box, they have to be very careful with trying to absorb it. Because if it has any kind of hitbox before the explosion, it'll knock them out of magnet, and that usually causes issues. Ooh, and holy crap! crap. That's interesting. The PK freeze actually throws oh, them. Oh, hit by okay. the explosion, which is a fire. Yeah, it instant broke can. The freeze instantly. Oh yeah, that was interesting. That's an, that's an elemental play. Brought to you by Sakurai's design. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. It's an It's a fire move. Yeah. And I mean, I got Apollo back on the stock, but if he gets hit by a single fire, you can say he's gonna die. Oh, it's falling there, there from Paulo. Yeah, Paulo knows that the uh, web is a little. Is that thing frozen there? <laughs> oh god, that's yes. stuck in there forever. So the uh, the Hogan's Alley enemies, depending on, they have different things for when you uh, for when they shoot. They also have different timings for how long they stay. Oh, when you hit them, like how long they stay when you hit them? Yep. So oh, it's okay. like it's something that a duck hunt player needs to know, but it is how long they're locked out. If they manage to get hit by the opponent. Ooh, boy. That was a really good interaction with the hitbox in there. Uh, if I recall correctly, the guy with the white poncho is actually the strongest one, and he can actually kill the other two. Yeah, he's a, but um, he's because he got he was getting hit with the smash, which doesn't actually have any knockback besides like the you in. I think it actually stopped the time. Solid control here from Webb. Yeah, they're maintaining mid stage really well. 
calling out all, all these uh, speed button approaches here from Apollo. Blocking cans, swiping back out the, the discus, hitting the the hooligans as they appear. The, ho the hooligans? The hooligans, yeah, you call them that, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, those are the guys from Hogan's Alley, I think. Hogan's, Hogan, Hogan, Hogan. The thugs, yeah. Oh! Salt's on the every web. Good stuff. <laughs> Big name in the tooth. Yeah, this is looking very tough for Apollo here in the set. As Webb is adapted and has found the proper gaps and ways to deal with Duck Hunt zoning and set up just to get around them and play really well. Webb is definitely getting their hits in more than Apollo. And the kills look like they're coming out a lot easier. Let's see how Apollo's gonna adapt to game number four here. See if they can make this a very close game. Yeah, Apollo had a really strong match one, but he wasn't kind of productive that sentence that uh that ended. Yeah, he kind of interested in seeing like what kind of modifications they make to his game, playing other the stages of common issues, or if he just needs to play a little more patiently to kind of force the um kind of force uh, a slower match and that's what ends up kind of saving him. Three, two, True. One, like uh, go. the back of this stage. <laughs> now I don't know much uh, out of shield options that Duck Hunt may have or if the character has any at all. But I mean his Nair is Maybe fairly, fairly okay. quick. His Nair is fairly quick. Uh, all of his aerials uh, besides full air. Actually, could come up fairly quickly. The only thing is, like, once you pick his zone and you're trying to set up, it's generally really bad for him to try to, to re establish that dominance that he has normally. Oh, my feet slowing down a bit, sorry. Oh, it's me. Hold on. Let me see if I can do something. Oh, yeah, that's just a good big thing is the policy is to be very careful with how stock because web wants to play a distance game and the only time that a web is really at risk is to pass the end you know, as opposed to uh, Apollo where he could play the distance game but there's a very strong chance that one will be able to kind of out of camp him just because of the, uh, the PSI magnet and the uh, fire. Yeah, it's like it really is just a matter of like who gets the stock first is like really determines how this match is going to pan out. Good stuff on whip uh, and Apollo to avoid that that PK stick. <laughs> that PK stick. That PK thunder, very weak. Uh, you couldn't quite avoid the last hit of the So active on the smash. ledge, oh man. Very rough for Duck Hunter to recover from, no jump to. Yeah, the down smash also gets bigger each progressive hit, even though it's uh, technically weaker uh, after with each successive hit, the fact that like it covers so much space is pretty big. Oh man, I see Apollo kind of being like, man, he really got, he really got 20 damage back. Oh man, this could be lethal. Good damage. Claybird is really disjointed. Claybird is one of the main tools that kind of has for damage and kill so. So being able to get that off on, against Lucas should be normally hard to catch for Apollo to be essential here and taking the back stocks and reversing the situation right now. Yeah, Webb's kind of giving uh, Apollo a lot of setup. Not. Oh. So the more uh, the more time that, that Apollo be... has to set up, the better. Oh. Actually, going to be able to get a kill off of some kind of like, up this game. Yeah, Webb navigating the, the minefield over here of this character, trying to get his hits and stay alive too at, at 150. Did a pretty good job avoiding the setup over here. Oh, that's kind of cut. Yeah. Really clipped him right there. That's pretty good. Little Apollo. And yeah, I just barely clipped him with that uh, that up. It's a very long move that covers a good amount of space. Yeah, and it kills him in the last hit too. Like, pretty solid move to have. <laughs> We have Duck Hunt again, actually like at a good position, he's got a good amount of space, he's actually able to get the damage that he wants, set up that he wants. Um, if you can force WebJP to keep uh, 
Oh, no, it's not. RMGP has uh, stage control. This is the risky part. This is how uh, Apollo keeps using stocks. Oh, he's clicking a rolling from the wall right there. Putting the pressure on this character. Oh, got the clay pigeon. Just throw off the fear off the hole again. That's pretty good. Jesus. Again, that's also pretty good. He keeps snatching him like out of the hit stun from uh, with the gunman. And he just exploded, bro. Yeah, caught the. <laughs> Yeah, the shoot's finally on the other foot here. Solid pressure there from Paul. Keeping it really strong on stage. Holding that stage down. Whatever they were throwing up against the... Uh, uh, web. Ooh, that's gonna take the next stock right there as well. We get the second version. Or in the last stock situation. Potentially the last game. This is just game number four and the winner will move on. This is the yeah. first time we're in a we're in a last box. Very good close game between both players. This is some final potential to play right here. So Lucas can absorb the uh that could the be it. Oh, oh you to see that low. happen. He had air dodged earlier, but thanks. No jump to his head. I bet you apologize to like bank on the jump there, thinking they'd probably have it. 